good morning students uh, last video i was explained regarding this definition of cam now i am going to explaining the types of cams uh, in cam follower mechanism you have two uh, main parts one is cam which is fixed to the cam shaft and another one is follower which is follows the uh, profile of the cam uh, first of all i will going to take the types of cams first Uh, cams can be classified based on the physical shape first one first is disc or plate cam another one is cylindrical cam in this disc or plate uh, cam uh, the disc cam which represents to the thickness of the uh, plate uh, the profile is formed in the shape uh, in uh, the profile is formed on the thin plate that means the thickness of the plate is of uh, 10 mm to 20 mm in that we will going to make a profile and that profile we will going to fix it in a cam shaft that is disc type of cam uh, the definition is here the disc cam has an irregular contour to impart a specific motions to the follower the follower movement in a plane perpendicular to the axis of the rotations of the cam and, in, and is held in contact with the cam by spring uh, springs or gravity of course here the follower is contacting with the cam out profile out uh, outside profile and the outside profile is depending upon the uh, type of motions uh, we need to get okay varieties of motions we can get in machines and varieties of uh, for uh, applying of varieties of motions we need to use varieties of shape and in this in this chapter the main thing is we need to find out the profile of the cam only we need to find out the shape of the cam with the basic requirements of the thing and next coming videos i'll going to explain the uh, problem with the uh, solution uh, the following movement in this uh, uh, disc type of or plate cam that is mentioned and in figure a you just see uh, the shape of the cam will going to construct in a thin plate and the follower which is used to follow the thing and another one is cylindrical cam cylindrical cam is nothing but uh, uh, with the help of a cylinder for example if you are uh, turning you are turning already you are done uh, so many machine components with the help of machines um, uh, turning operation okay facing after that plane turning you will do no in plane turning or a cylindrical workpiece will going to cut a surface or cylindrical or a groove on it okay like a threads that is cylindrical cam okay Uh, you can see here the cylindrical cam as a groove cut along a cylindrical surface the roller follower are the groove and the follower move in a plane pa uh, parallel to the axis of the rotations of a cylinder in this you can see in a disc cam or a plate cam the follower is different and in a cylindrical cam the follower is different it is, here we are going you are using a rolling follower roller follower in a groove whereas in a disc cam the outer surfaces of the cam profile is traced by the follower okay you understood these two and another one is translating cam this translating cam is nothing but uh, a contour curve or a contour shape is cut on the inside of a thin plate in that the follower will trace the thing that is translating cam okay the translating cam is a contour or grooved plate sliding on a guiding surfaces the follower may oscillate the contour or the shape of the groove is determined by the specific motion of a follower see there there is a two types of cam they are going to show one is a and one is b a uh, we need to raise the cam in a gradual manner and we need to decrease uh, we need to reduce the cam or we need to reduce the uh, uh, cam surface with the help of this profile and one is contour shape uh, the contour is uh, cutted on a a thin plate in that the cam will be moved based on the profile the cam will move that is translating cam okay this is with respect to this is the classifications with respect to cam